Good morning, guys. <sighs> Happy Friday. We made it to the end of the week. And let me tell y'all something. I was a little skeptical there at first. That was going to make it through the end of the week. Oh, excuse me. Let me turn you guys up. All right, you're up. Good morning. And how do you do? I like to introduce myself to you. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Welcome to the Fearless Morning Show. Where we are having confessions and conversations about your everyday life and finances. My name is Yamitra Jojo Waddell, the only person who yawns every morning. The only live past crazy special, so what better place to be than here with me? It's Friday, we made it. It's going to be an amazing day. I'm a firm believer of that. I'm looking for some lotion. If y'all don't know, I am a chapstickaholic, meaning I have to have chapstick everywhere. I have it in my car. I have two or three in my purse. I have some at my desk. I am never far from chapstick and lotion. So, that I have. So, welcome. All right. So, the fearless thought for the day. If you guys have been joining the show, um, while we, before I do that, don't forget, I am my sister's keeper. T shirts are still available. And they have uh, Sisters Keeper hashtag on the back. You can go to um, livepastcrazy.com under the store section and get your t-shirt. If your friends and family do not have Facebook, we do have a YouTube channel where they can binge watch all the Fearless Morning shows there. Uh, we have over 300 shows over there, so you can catch uh, any other shows that you would like to see over there. Um so make sure you share the video if they do not have any social media remember they can get it delivered to their inbox and i will post that link shortly if you want the five ebook series um it's foundations matter so you can it's bit.ly forward slash foundations matter so that you can do that today's thought is going to be really really quick and fast um because I only have I have two and they're so good. So we're gonna make this quick so that um because I have to be someone. Good morning. Good morning. <coughs> Do you have thirty cent? Thirty cent. Yeah. I think so. Can I look? Yeah. Good morning, Lynn. Just I'll, I'll look, I'll look, I'll look. What do you need thirty cent for? So that we can get chicken biscuits. Do you have money? Mel does. Mel, what are you drinking? The cookies and cream. <coughs> Early this morning. Java cooler espresso base. With you know what's really good if you get like a double chocolate. Like they were already with, in like, school in a in a come back to the car to get money. What did you get? So I got a decent. You got everything you need? Yeah, I have my clothes, I have my other stuff, and my book bag, and I have my lunch. Clothes? Yeah. All right, love oh, you. Oh, coffee house? No. Oh. Coffee house was yesterday. Oh, well then what do you... I oh, no. Oh, I, I thought you were... Okay. I was doing it for me. Here you go. Good morning. I'm, I guess I'm here too. Love you. Yeah. <laughs> Be peaceful. Bye, girl. Love Bye. You. Love you. Y'all be, be peaceful, ma'am. All right. So, let's try this one more time uh, without the kids interrupting. How about some of that? So, um, the fearless thought for the day. I have I have two. So, grow, this one earns. It's going to earn a spot on my wall of quotes in my house. <clears throat> and I've never heard of this person. But Rosie gave it to me this morning. Excuse me. And it says, it's from NF. And his name is Nathaniel somebody. He's a rapper. He's not a traditional rapper. He's not a Christian rapper. 
She said, I just have to listen to his music and figure out where he fits. I've never heard of him, but his name is NF. That's his stage name. And in his one of his rap lyrics, it says, Church is where I found God, but it's also, but no, church is where I found God, but I also learned to judge people there. Isn't that good? Church is where I found God, but I also learned to judge people there. Wow. What does that say about us as Christians? If that's what people think, that they can find God there, but that's also where they learn to judge, which if we're honest with ourselves, that's very true. We're so judgmental inside the church. We talk about people as soon as they walk in. I can't believe she wore that. Uh, look at what he got on. He with her. The whole social scene of church is... That's another story. It's crazy. So the feel the stop for the day. I just thought that was a great quote. Uh, Rosie told it to me today, so it's earning a spot on the wall of quotes. So the feel the stop for the day is. Excuse me. I don't know why I'm yawning. I slept great. Why? What are you afraid of? And I thought about this, and y'all know this week I've just been working some things out for myself. Like, what are you afraid of? And basically at the opposite end of you being afraid or scared of something, at the very opposite end of that is that you are afraid and scared of what people are going to say and the judgment that they're going to have for you, hence the quote of the day. So... I'm just saying, what are you afraid of? What are you scared of? And at the very opposite end of that is you're afraid or you're scared of what other people are going to think and what other people are going to say. And that has kept many of us, me included, from moving forward, from doing things, from uh, doing what we need to do, from living our best life, from accomplishing our dreams, because we are scared. We're not... And here's the thing. We're not scared that we can't accomplish it. We are scared that we will accomplish it and people are going to talk about us or we won't accomplish it. They're going to talk about us. Right. It would be better, but that's never, that's never going to happen. We wish. But I love, I love that quote. Uh, Church is where I found God, but I also learned to, learn to judge people there. Let me tell you, I will be tweeting that quote today with Mr. NF. I don't know his real name. Oh, that's his stage name. So that would be a quote for the day. But what are you scared of? What are we, what are we really scared of? Are we scared of hurting somebody's feelings? Are we scared of what people, we're always scared of what people are going to think. We're scared of what they're going to say. We're scared of how they're going to feel after we say what we have to say. We're scared of the interaction that's going to come from the conversations. We are scared of the outcomes but at the end of the day, it's simply very simply, we are scared of what people are going to think about us because they may think one way about us. And then when we do something different, act a different way, or we become, or we live in closer to the tr to our truer selves, what are they going to say about the new person that we have presented here? <laughs> and some of us don't want to face that. We don't want to. We don't want to deal with that, and we'd rather let people live with the illusion of who they think that we are, than deal with the reality of who we really are. Does that make sense? Like, I'd rather you think a certain way about JoJo than me to really tell you the truth about JoJo or what I really or what's really going on. So, what are you scared of? And I think sometimes it is that we're scared of what we are capable of because we know we are we're capable of far more than what we currently see. But we're also scared that if if we do more, the expectations will change that people have upon us. Like now, you're at the base expectations. Like your family and friends just expect the bare minimum of you. They just expect you to go to work. They just expect you to do this. Like you have the bare minimum expectations. The minute that you commit to stop being scared and you do more, now you have a different set of expectations. And some of us don't want our expectations 
to change meaning i don't want anybody to demand more of me than what they're demanding right now and if i show them that i can do more than i'm capable of more then they're going to demand more of me and their expectations of me are going to be higher and they're going to change because as long as your expectation is right below the radar with me then I really don't have to check for you or you don't, you know, you really ain't going to ask me for a whole lot, like just a bare minimum. But the minute I start living true to my calling or I exert myself to do the very thing that I know I can do, then, you know, like be amazing, be great. Then your expectations of me are going to change. And then I'm having to live up to a different standard. And some of us are frankly scared of changing our standards because then we're going to have to have the responsibility. And we talked about that yesterday. We talked about that all week. Going off the safe path. You know, listen, trusting your instinct to go with your Noah. Good morning, Jasmine. You know, we talked about that all week. So what are you scared of? And sometimes it is truly we're scared of people changing their expectations of us and demanding more of us than we're willing to give to them. So we'd rather fly right up under the radar and not do a whole lot so they don't expect a whole lot from us. Because as long as you don't expect a whole lot, then I don't have to do a whole lot. Because the minute I change my expectations, you change your expectations of me. And the minute I start doing more, then that's more responsibility on me to keep it up. And as then you're going to be looking more at me about, oh, so you think you can do this? So what are you going to do now? So at the end of why are you scared? What are you scared of? At the, at the very end of that is we're afraid of what people are going to think about us. We're afraid of their expectations that they're going to put on us that we may or may not live up to. We And when we think about our dreams, we encompass all of that unknowingly. Like when you think your big dream, you think, okay, I'm going to step out here and I'm going to start my own business, but I don't even want to hear my family mouth if it, if it don't work. I don't want to hear their mouth when they say you quit that good job and you left all your benefits to do what? What What do you do, JoJo? What is it that you do? If I hear that one more time, JoJo, what is it that you do? <clears throat> and this is something that I've learned the hard way. There was not enough explaining in the world for me to explain to someone who doesn't understand the concept of entrepreneurship, who doesn't understand the concept that maybe, you know, I don't want to stay at the same job for 20 to 25 years and retire. That's not my mindset. And there's not enough explaining I can do. There's not enough talking that I can do. It's simply, I have to be okay with, they may not understand that Jojo, number one. Number two, it's not up to them to understand it. Number three, them understanding it has nothing to do with you. It ain't got nothing to do with you, JoJo. What it has to do, all that has to do with you is that you insist on trying to make somebody understand your dream when they're not capable of it. So you can only let them accept what they can accept and you keep moving. Because if I, JoJo, get caught up in trying to explain it to people, make them understand, well, this is how this and this, I'm then, remember those seven habits of highly affected people, then I'm in my circle of concern and I'm no longer in my circle of influence. So I need to stay in my circle of influence, which is I can only control what JoJo thinks and sees and does. And I hope that by doing that, I, I'm then going to change my family and my community and hashtag change the world. But there is not enough of anything that you can do to make people see things uh, or understand them the way that you see them. And, and probably vice versa. They're not going to do it for you. A to the men, Jasmine. And then I had to be okay with that. Okay? I had to be okay with that. So... What are we scared of? We're scared of what people think of us at the very end. We're scared of the expectations that are going to change on us when we start to do something different. Like, 
uh, that and that's you know confession for me i was afraid of that well if i do more then people are going to expect more well what's going to happen when i don't want to do the more that they expect from me then they're going to talk about me well they're going to talk about me if i fail they're going to talk about me if i do it they're going to talk about me if i don't do it they talk about if i have behind do it they gonna, and so the result was they were going to talk about me regardless right so i might as well go ahead and do it so what are you scared of oftentimes and when you're dreaming me when i'm dreaming i'm guilty of this all the time and i have to check myself uh, i encompass all I, I encompass all of that and it's just a subconscious thing but now that you're aware of it you need i can now bring it to my attention be like jojo wait a minute why are you not doing this are you afraid because this this and this or are you truly afraid that it's not going to work? Are you encompassing everybody else's thought process? Well, Jojo, if you try to do that, you know, I don't know. You know what they're going to say? You always trying to do something. Well, what you trying to do next? Well, now explain it to me again. And then I got a whole, again, then I'm, I'm lost in my circle of concern. And I'm not in my circle of influence. I can only control what I can control. So... What are you scared of? As we close out this wonderful Friday, this is Freedom Friday, Friday, um, Fearless Friday. What are we scared of? What are we scared of? And I, here's my thing. I have been, and this is confessions and conversations. I've been afraid, hey, if I host an event, nobody's going to come. I've been scared and afraid of if I do this, then this is not going to happen. I've been afraid and scared of if I don't do that, then this is going to happen. Good morning, Margaret. You know, there, I have been scared of a lot of things, but at the end of the day, I had to decide was I going to continue to be scared and worried about everybody else's decision of me or was I going to be scared and do it anyway? What are we scared of? And at the very opposite end of that is what other people think about us. That's it. It's what other people think and other people's expectations of us. What are they ex and some y'all, I had to learn this the hard way. My expectations of other people hurt our relationship. Like I could have had better friends had I changed my expectations for them. And I'm learning to live with that. Like, M Margaret, let me finish that thought and let me come back to that. So, uh, when I let go of unspoken expectations of my friends and family, we had such a better relationship because I held them to the expectations of I have a business and you should support me at all costs. Well, if their mind can't make them comprehend it, I can't get mad at them if they truly can't understand and they're knowing they like it's not they're not capable of understanding i can't get mad at them so i release them from that expectation and we have a better relationship like almost instantaneously a better relationship because i release them from my expectations of what i think they should be doing for me and when i let go of that then i became freer you see in my circle of influence i can control that so sometimes it's those expectations that get us caught up, right? So to Margaret's point, scared as condition that high achievers learn to live with so that they can prosper. I think Margaret is an entrepreneur. Jasmine is a single parent entrepreneur. Margaret has raised her children. Her children are grown. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur. And I think we, we are dreamers to our heart. And then when we get, when we have that dream, that catches you right here that makes my my chest hurt that takes my breath away that is that's the fear that's the scare that kind of fuels us that says yeah oh this is gonna be great and then it's oh yeah this is gonna be great <laughs> and it's forward and it's backwards but we know we're right there and it's too great for us We'd rather be afraid moving forward than afraid going back. And so she's absolutely right. That's what that scared feeling, that nervous, that overwhelming feeling, that's what we use to push us forward. A to the men. Jasmine stepped out on faith 
and is working from herself. You know, all of us have stepped out on faith to work for ourselves. You know, I still do the nine to five and I admire my friends that have stepped out and they do it on their own and they are it. I, I admire, I, I am so proud of y'all. I support you in any way that I can. Uh, I am your loudest cheerleader because the fear and the scared and the overwhelming didn't stop you. It fueled you to keep going. And so I'm right there at the edge. Uh, I'm on it. I'm almost there, y'all. I'm going, I'm coming. Hold fast. Hold fast. I'm coming. But it, it's that scared feeling that helps us achieve what we need to achieve. It's that I am both the problem and the solution that helps us air, that helps us keep going. Yeah, because you that didn't change. exactly. And then we breathe in the fear and be like, okay, I think I might be able to do this. Okay, you know what, JoJo, you got this. It's gonna be okay. Don't make it harder than what it needs to be. Right, Margaret? Me and Margaret had that conversation. Well, I said it out loud. And she was like, yep. Sometimes we make things harder than what they need to be. So the quote of the day comes from Rosemond's rapper friend. His name is NF. Don't know his real name. Just know that's his stage name. It says, church is where I found God. But I also learned to judge people there. Isn't that quote amazing? Church is where I found God, but I also learned to judge people there. That's in one of his rap lyrics. That is amazing. Church is where we found God. That's where we learn to judge people. That's where we learn to put expectations on people. And the thought of the day is what are you scared of? At the opposite end of that spectrum is we're afraid of what people will think. And that's it. We're afraid of what people would think. We're afraid of the conversations. We're afraid of what happens. But I think more importantly, we're not only afraid of what people would think. We are afraid of our own greatness. We are afraid of our own power. Right. That's the purpose of the tribe. Yeah, we will change the world. Absolutely. I think we, we are so scared of our power and our strength and our voice that we allow other obstacles to stand in our way from achieving the things that we need to do. Y'all, we are some we are powerful women and men. We are beyond amazing. And it is the fear of our I think our greatness sometimes when it's just us, it kind of overwhelms us when God gives us a glimpse of what could be, what we could achieve if we just persist a little more if we work harder just a little more or that reminder that yeah you on the right path that scaredness that takes your breath away but it also pushes you forward yeah what are we scared of sometimes we are, we are scared of our greatness we are afraid of who we need to be right if we can <sighs> yes ma'am Margaret if we get out the way we can see the power of God hey to the man Yes, we can. We can see the power of God. But too often we put in so many stipulations of how we of how we want God to bless us that we don't see his true power because we limit him with our small asking. We limit God with our small asking. And so as my girl Joyce Meyer say, if you're gonna ask for something, you might as well ask for all the things and get some of what you want, then ask for some of the things and get none of what you want. So I'm asking for all the things. I'm taking all the limitations off. A to the man. So that is the fillers stop for the day. I hope it has helped somebody. I'm trying to keep it short and sweet because early this week I was a whole hour. Did y'all know that? I was a whole hour and I didn't even know it. So the, the quote of the day, church is where I found God, but I, I also learned to judge people there. So man oh man we can judge some folk right don't forget that i am my sister keeper t-shirts are on the website livepastcrazy.com <clears throat> so that you can grab you one foundations matter is the five ebook series bit.ly forward slash foundations matter and that's a capital f 
F, sorry, uh, capital F, uh, Foundations Matter. Ain't I? Miss Margaret, when I tell y'all my purpose partners, and Jasmine, I need to call you, my purpose partners are helping me working some things out, like piece by piece. Y'all don't even understand. It's about to go down. So let me tell y'all, this is something I was afraid of. And um, Margaret knows this. And I was going to do a show about it last night. But I was exhausted. And she basically told me to go to bed. And I went to bed hungry. Thank you, Jasmine. I appreciate that. Some days you need to hear that. We all need that small encouragement. We encourage ourselves, but sometimes it's nice to hear it from somebody else. So this is the thing that I'm scared of. And I'm going to share this with y'all. And then me and Margaret are going to... I'm going to move forward when I'm asking Margaret for some help. So I... Have, this is something I've been wanting to do. I've been wanting to have a retreat for a group of women. No more than 20. No less than 10. I'm looking at about 15. Where we can get together as sisters. Because I am my sister's keeper. And we have real conversation about our real life. And we work through the shit. Sorry y'all. We work through the stuff. And we we realize what our crazy is and then we move past it and i want it to be um i want it to be a weekend of women who are true who are ready to be true to who they are at their core i want it to be a weekend where you it's time for you to realize your greatness and understand it and then rest in it and be comfortable with it and if you're not yet comfortable i want it to be a weekend where you come and you get inspired to do it and so there won't be uh where you come and you sit in a room and you listen to speakers it will be an intimate setting where we as sisters we come together and we sit and we talk and we have conversation and everybody has something to say of course there's going to be things that we learn along the way but you know you're going to have that quiet time that i talk about you when i say y'all take that five minutes of quiet time we come into Florida because we need the water. So I'm asking Miss Margaret to help me find a location. Uh, and I, I want to do this in August at the end. I know this is April, either at the end of July or the beginning of August. But I was scared to put that out there because I didn't think anybody would come. Or I didn't think anybody would be interested. But the more I say I can't do it, the, and I think that's why I haven't been able to sleep. Like I haven't slept since last Wednesday. Yeah, I had a death of the family and I had the funeral and I had all of that. But... I think it was because it was at the back of my mind and I wasn't saying it and it was overwhelming like it was taking over my mind and my sleep like Georgia when are you going to say something about it? and I was like I don't know because I don't think nobody's going to come I don't think anybody's interested right Miss Margaret that's what I'm talking about and so in my mind I see a whole thing and let me tell you how God works I've been scared to say it all week and then after the show what's the day Friday after the show on Wednesday a friend of mine called and she said hey I would love and I said you know I, I want to share something with you and I told her she was like I would love to plan it for you she said I will plan it for you and sometimes that's all we, we may be scared to say the thing but then God once we say okay and we yield to our greatness or we yield to what it is we're supposed to do the answers like i tell y'all the answers that we're seeking we're already there but because i was so busy saying oh i'm scared because nobody's gonna come oh i'm scared it's not gonna happen i couldn't see the answer so the minute i said you know what? okay i'm gonna do it because it i first of all i gotta sleep Margaret looked at me last night, and she knew I was I was tired. Good morning, Catherine. Yes, you can come, honey. Please come. And so I I have it all here in my head, like, and I've been so scared I haven't even wrote it down. But on that call on Wednesday, I I shared it with a friend, and you before I could even finish. <laughs> yes, Margaret, we worked through that, didn't we? <laughs> so that so that's me walking through i'm you know living past crazy or i'm being scared what's at the other end of scared of what people think so i was scared to say that i wanted to do a retreat i was scared because i didn't think people would come i was scared because i was like who's gonna come and listen you know who's gonna come to be with me who am i just judging so the minute on wednesday i decided you know what i'm just gonna say it i'm, I'm just going to talk about it and if people are interested they're going to come the next person i talked to they was like, I can host it. I can 
plan it for you. Margaret had already told me that she could find me a location. But yet, I was still scared. And so that was gonna, I was gonna do a live last night about me being scared and hosting it. Uh, <laughs> th thank you, Margaret. Uh, because I know this is something that I need to have happen. So I'm looking for 20 women, no less than 10. 15 would be great. So if you want to bring your sister, we, um, me and Margaret, I see now she's going to help me plan it. And I have another lady because I can't not do it. Yes, chicken. Oh my God, I was so chicken, honey. Chicken, I was, I was scared. Up until Wednesday, I was scared. And I was still scared a little yesterday afternoon. But let me tell you, once I yielded to the thought, yesterday afternoon when I wrote it, and I got my journal back here. I can show it to you. I wrote in my journal that, and it's on my notes on my notepad, that I will talk about me hosting this event and I will do this. Y'all, I went home and I slept like a baby. The minute I committed to doing what was true to my calling, I slept like a baby. And if y'all don't know, since last Wednesday, I ain't really slept. Like, you know how you sleepy, but you talk to yourself while you sleep? Like, you judge you ain't sleep. Why is you playing? And then you toss and you turn like JoJo. Like for real, you not sleep. You got you know what you need to do, but you keep putting it up. You know how you self-talk to yourself in sleep? That's where I was all week long. So last night, yesterday afternoon after I wrote it down, my chest felt better because it was on me. And I slept like a baby last night. I, I know that's what you said, Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> so ladies uh today this is what i'm going to do today i'm going to put together a link for people to register of course there's going to be a price attached to it i'm going to put the link together so you can register and we're going to pick a date uh if you know somebody and i'm thinking at the end of july first weekend because we start school the first week in August. End of July be the end of the summer. You have a little time before the kids start bad. You know, before all the things start happening. Or maybe the first week in August. So that, you know, it can happen. Yes, you... Did I? I don't even remember. See, I don't even remember that, Margaret. I must have been scared. Because I promise I don't even remember that conversation. But it's okay. I'm coming next year. That's okay. I will, I will be at the Empowerment Summit next year. Jasmine, she's coming too. She'll be there too. She doesn't. Look, Jasmine, I just volunteered your services. <laughs> but guys, if you're interested in coming, please let me know. If you know a sister who needs to come, let me know. And maybe uh, I can come up with a group rate. So if you and a sister want to come together, y'all can. Listen, I'm working on that all day today. That's what I'm working on. So what are we scared of at the end? We are scared of at the end what people are going to think and say about us. We are afraid of the expectations that they're going to have on us. That's what that's what we're afraid of. We are afraid that all the things that... And I'm talking about me. Like, they're going to say, Jojo, really? What, what are you doing now? Oh, my God, Jojo, you do too much. Oh, my God, this child. And so, but... I think at the end of the day, you are afraid of, you, you're really afraid of, of your greatness. Like, you are afraid to be great because I think sometimes we don't let our greatness shine because we don't, we don't want to embarrass the people around us. We don't want to outshine anybody else and we want everybody else to feel good about themselves so we don't do what we need to do. Good morning, Michael. And for my brothers out there, my brothers, y'all are amazing. I'm just saying, we depend on men for so much, but we're so quick to put the men down. Why is that? It, it, there's no shame to say we need our brothers. We need the men. We we need the men. Not not a frame. Yeah, I, uh, look, I, yes, I have, Margaret. <laughs> So for my brothers out there, don't be afraid to be great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Catherine. That was C. Y'all, y'all gonna make me cry. Cause I was scared for like I've been scared to say this for a month. And then this past week it has been eating me alive until yesterday when I wrote it down. I'm just saying. For my brothers out there, please know that you are strong. Please know that you are needed and that we love you and that you are such an amazing man. Like you get up every day. 
Margaret, my fellas, y'all get up every day and you put the weight of the world on your shoulders. Man, I put on, I, as a black woman, I put on the weight too. But as a black man, you put on the weight and you put on the fear of my life could end today because I'm a black man. And you are the most feared man. You're the most feared human in the entire world because your mental is beyond strong. Your poise is amazing. You are, your articulation is on point. You are the man. And don't let any other woman convince you that you're not the man like you are and we need you we need you to be strong we need you to be there for us because you're the cornerstone for all of us and even though some women may say i don't need a man and all men are garbage and we can't chunk y'all all together my i am my brother's keeper yeah there's some out there that's kind of you know hoo -hoo, cuckoo but there's some brothers out there that represent every day. And there's some brothers out there that, you know, you got it wrong in the beginning, but you getting it right now. I'm your biggest cheerleader. Continue to be amazing. Continue to speak your truth. Con and like my friend and Catherine, if you're still on, remember Angeline from IBM. Angeline is from uh, Ni uh, Ni no, Liberia, right? One, She didn't even know what I had been through. She had no idea. And one day we walk into lunch and she says, why do you hold your head now? And I said, what? And she's like, why do you hold your head down when you walk? And I was like, I, no, I know. She's like, yes, you do. She was like, who told you to hold your head down? A woman should always hold her head up. And ever since that day, I hold my head up every time I walk. And so my fellas, don't hold your head down. Yep. You, you know, it's a little rough right now, but don't hold your head down. Yes, we heard you, Margaret. <laughs> Please don't pay Margaret any attention. But for my brothers, I am my brother's keeper. I am. Please don't hold your head down today. Hold your head up. Even if you got it wrong and you're doing it right, right now, that's all that matters. Right. Right. There's some, there's some damn good men out here. You hear me? There's some great men out here doing great and amazing things. And so, my fellas, y'all need some purpose partners, too. And it may be a sister who's going to encourage you. It may be another brother. And so, if there's any brother out there that want to start a brother circle, because you are your brother's keeper, I got some t-shirts coming, so hold fast. My brothers, y'all need to connect, because it's about, you know, taking what you see here to help you see it here. And sometimes you need somebody that you feel safe enough with to share that with. So for my brothers, you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are strong, you are powerful. Today I send you peace, blessings, and abundance to you all day. Catherine and Margaret, Lord have mercy. I don't need that combination to get together. <laughs> so I'm just saying, my sisters and my brothers, we are both needed. And we have got to learn to work together. So for my brothers, I am my brother's keeper. If you need me, it doesn't have to, again, for me, it doesn't have to be an awkward conversation. You just have to send me a message, say, Jojo, I got an idea. Let me tell you, I'm going to take it. I'm going to run with it from there. Right, Miss Margaret, we need each other. I need my brothers. There was a brother out there today that I'm waiting for him to tell me what it is that he's doing so that I can do what I need to do. He may be in my hometown. We may have went to high school together. He may be sitting in Rolfton, Far City, Spindale, Union Mills, Gilkey, Ralphton, whatever you want to call it. He's sitting there with that thought and that idea. And I need you, my brother. I need you today to say, Jojo, I got you. This is my idea and this is what I'm working with. And I promise you, my brother, I got your back. I'm, be, I'm my brother's keeper because it's got to be that serious and it's that simple it is that simple it don't have to be an awkward conversation y'all know I love to talk you tell me your idea it is safe with me I'm going to connect you with people who need to you connect with or give you the information you need to get where you need it. there's no dream too small and there's no dream too big for you to hold it in and so that's my confession today i was scared to say i wanted to have this retreat i was scared because i didn't think anybody wanted to come i was scared because i was thinking what <laughs> those places are in north carolina that's where i'm from <laughs> those are all the the little cities around <laughs> 
I was afraid, y'all. I was scared, and I was scared of what people were going to say, and I was scared of what people were going to think. So I'm not scared no more. I want to have this retreat. I want it to be at least 20 women, at least, you know, no more than 50, no more than, at least 10, no more than 20. Hey, blessful, successful. She's part of the tribe, and I'm, she's a part of my tribe, too. And here's the thing, my, my sisters and my brothers. We, we're not in competition with each other, okay? I'm here to support you in all the things. I'm here to support you in all things because together, we, as Miss Margaret says, can change the world. Miss Margaret, can you put your link on there? Because Miss Margaret has the t-shirt that says, hashtag change the world. And I can't do without my brother. And my brother, you can't do without your brother. You can't do without your sister. So please allow me to help you. It is my pleasure and my great joy to help you with whatever your dream. Catherine, I got you, boo. I'm just saying. We we got to work this thing together. And it is that it is that is it's that big and it's that simple. It is simply as I'm Jojo from Far City. Ain't nothing changed. I worked at McDonald's my whole life from 14 to 22. If you came through Far City McDonald's at any point, Jasmine was in there with me too. I said, welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order, please? I took out the trash. I took out the grease. I unloaded the trucks. I cleaned the tables. I did all the things. So it really is as simple as... You talking to the people that you know. So I am my sister's keeper. I am my brother's keeper. I need my brothers. Yeah, we're not in competition. I need my brothers to succeed. There's a brother, I promise you, sitting at home in Far City, Spindale, Union Mills, Rofton, Gilkey. There's a brother sitting there right now with a dream that can change the freaking world, but he doesn't have anybody to share it with. His brother, his brother doesn't understand and his sister doesn't understand. That's why I am my brother's keeper. I am my sister's keeper. It doesn't have to be something awkward. I promise you, if you send me a message and say, Jojo, I got an idea. I'm going to take the conversation from there and I'm going to help my brother out. It is that big and yet it is that simple. I promise you, it is that simple. If you need anything, that is what I'm here for. I am my sister's keeper. I am my brother's keeper. Please allow me to help you be great. And again, who am I? I'm just a little girl from Union Mills who worked at McDonald's her whole life. Yes, you did make the... Look, I made the biscuits once and my daddy told me no. <laughs> he told me to stop. We didn't sell no biscuits the day I made them because, honey, he said, Jojo, mix the flour in the water and that's all I did. I didn't put no lard. I didn't do nothing else. We sold a lot of McMuffins that day. But I'm simply telling you, Reach out to somebody, and if you're, if you're my friend, sometimes you get this, this text from me. I sent them out yesterday. How can I be a friend to you today? And I truly mean that. How can I help you today? It is that big and it is that simple. And as Miss Margaret says, we will and we can change the world. Like, we can change the world. One sister and one brother. Just imagine if all the brothers that you know, all the sisters that you know, you reached out to them and said, hey, Bruh, girl, how can I help you today? And then they reach out to the people they know and say, how can I help you today? The connection alone, the things that we could do, the places we could go, and the world we could change it would be amazing. So, y'all, what are we afraid of? At the opposite end of being scared, we're afraid of what people are going to think about us. Confession and conversation. I know I was deathly afraid. I've been wanting to have this event. It's been on my heart for over a year. And I was scared to say it out loud. And, I, and it got to the point where it's kept me up all this week. Last night was the first night I slept. And the minute I let go of it's okay to be scared, JoJo. And like I tell y'all, because y'all see me walk through this, right? That if long as I stop, when I stop saying I'm scared and I'm said, you know what? Okay, I'm just going to do it. The answer fell in my lap. The next phone call said, I'm going to help you plan it. Miss Margaret said, I got the location. I mean, when you, when we just take one second to say, what if, if you take one second to say, you know what? You pretty damn good, girl. You pretty amazing. And you let your light shine. And here's the thing. With that, sometimes we're afraid to let our light shine because we want everybody to feel good. I'm so guilty of that. Oh my God, I'm so guilty of this. 
I don't want to let my light shine because I don't want to hurt anybody else's feelings. And I don't want them to think that I'm better than them. And I don't want them to hurt. That's not it, my sister and my brother. This is my realization this week. If I don't let my light shine, they don't know that their light can shine. If I don't let my light shine, they don't know that they can do different. If I don't let my light shine, they don't know that they can think different, be different. They don't know that they can even question their reality. They're crazy. Yeah, to, today, Michael, is overflowing. Wednesday, I cried. Today, y'all about to make me cry again today. Because for me, it is that serious. I am my sister's keeper. I am my brother's keeper. It's that big, and yet it's that simple. I'm asking, if you need help with anything, please reach out to me. It doesn't have to be an awkward conversation. Even if you ain't even sure you know what you want to do yet. You just want to chit-chat. Y'all like, y'all know I love to talk. So, I'm just saying. Yes, it did, honey. I, I jumped with all my eyes closed. And my ears. Sometimes we got to jump with our ears and our eyes closed. Because guess what? When we ready to jump and we can see it, we have people that get in our ear and tell us we can't do it. And sometimes the people in our ear are the people in our head. Y'all know how we self-talk. Jojo, you can do this, girl. You know you from Union Mills. You can't do that. Who do you think you are? You, you ain't got the money to do that. Jojo, you, you can't do that. And sometimes the people in our ear is the people in our head. So I closed my eyes and my ears, honey. Because here's the thing. If I'm going to be scared and at the opposite of being scared and afraid is what people are going to think about me. Because their expectations are going to change on me. And am I going to be able to live up to those expectations? You know, all the things that you think about. They're going to talk regardless. They're going to have expectations regardless. And am I really going to keep eating this dream? Am I really going to keep pushing it down because of that? So, I'm just saying, what are you scared of? And sometimes what we're scared of, we are scared of our greatness. We are scared of what we know we can achieve we're scared of doing the work to achieve it. We are scared to outshine our family, outshine our friends, outshine your boo thing, your man, your side piece, your girl. We're afraid to outshine them because we want them to be comfortable. We want them to succeed to, too, but they may not be at where you are. And so you dumb yourself down to accommodate them because they're not ready for what you're ready for. Guilty. Oh, I'm so y'all. I'm guilty of all the things, all of it. That's why I'm your Mitchell Jojo Water, the only live past crazy special. So, what better place to be than here with me? Because I know crazy, I have done all the things. Do you hear me? I have done them all. So, please be great today. Please be amazing. Please let your light shine, my brother. I'm waiting on you. Whoever you are, wherever you are, please make sure you share this video if you know somebody who needs to hear that. I'm a, as Rosie told me, I'm a space giver. We just simply looking for a free, a safe place to live our, a safe place to share our dreams and our thoughts. I am your safe place. I am a space giver. Miss Margaret is a space giver. So if you have that dream, that idea, and you just want to share it because you need to get it off your chest, again, it doesn't have to be an awkward conversation. Again, who am I? I'm just JoJo. But it's that big and it's that simple. I am my sister's keeper. I am my brother's keeper. I'm just saying. Yes, we have to believe that. Yes. Oh my God. Yes, blessful. Absolutely. And some, y'all know my quote that hangs on my wall in my office. Someone is waiting for me to move and they will not move until I move. I'm waiting on you to move. There's a sister and a brother out there right now with a dream, with a thing, a thought, an idea that I need. And I can't do what I need to do until you give it to me. And so I'm going to be constantly searching for it until you give it to me. And yes, I'm talking to you because yes, I'm talking to myself. So I'm just saying, if you want to, I am my sister's keeper t-shirt. Here they are. You can go to livepastcrazy.com and order your shirts. If you want the five book series because foundations matter, bit.ly forward slash foundations matter. That's a capital F, okay? On that, and it's a five ebook series. 
uh, and it's 1999 and it talks it's five books we talk about mental detox and the things that you need to have in place so that your foundation is together you are the person that's going to change your family you are the person that's going to change your community you are the person that's going to change the world it is that big and that simple it starts with you my sister and my brother i'm telling you it starts with you so today be great be amazing be beautiful let your light shine and if you're having a problem with your light shining guilty and if it wasn't for my purpose partners margaret and valerie jasmine is my purpose partner i have a few if it wasn't for my purpose partners who remind me because sometimes you need a reminder sometimes you need a push i will um it's I will post it as soon as I um, get off of here. It's uh, www.livepastcrazy.com and then it's bit.ly forward slash foundations matter for the ebook. I will post that as soon as I get off of here. Um, sometimes you need somebody that push you. Sometimes you need somebody to do it. Right, didn't it? A to the men. I y'all work that, that i've been working stuff out all week if you missed any of these shows please go back i cried on wednesday honey ugly i cried on wednesday i worked this thing right on out y'all almost got me today but i'm not gonna cry today sometimes you gotta walk you gotta work it out and then you got to see somebody else work it out to, that's why i only live past crazy specials honey we doing this thing thank you guys for being on this journey with me if you want to join me on this be fearless journey go to livepastcrazy.com sign up so that you can be a part of it y'all if you want to come to my retreat that i was just scared to say earlier yesterday and this week <laughs> yes you will margaret if you want to come to the retreat i'm looking at the end of july first of august no more than 20 women no less than 10 I don't want you to come with any pretense of that you don't fit in the room. Everybody fits in the room. Everybody. It's not come dressed to impress. It's come to be comfortable. And you're going to talk to your sister. And we're going to work some things out. And we're going to dream that dream. And we're going to be our sister's keeper. And we are going to change the world. And the minute I stopped saying I was scared, the when I said when I said okay, I'm not going to be scared. I'm just going to do it. The next phone call, no lie. When I finished the call on when I finished the show on Wednesday, the next call somebody said they would do the, they would plan the event. Miss Margaret said I got the location. Y'all saw me work it out. Cause sometimes when all of our spaces feel what I can't and I don't know and. All of that, you can't see the answer. And truly, my answer was right there in front of me. Right. We'll wrap you up. Yes. Yes, bless her. She will push you out of the way. So, guys, the quote for the day, and I'm ending the show here. Church is where I found God. Come on. But I also learned to judge people there. And that's by the rapper NF. I have no idea who he is. I don't listen to rap music. My children told me about him. Church is where I found God. But I also learned to judge people there. Well, what are you scared of at the very opposite end of that is what people think. Thank you, Miss Margaret. I appreciate it. I'll look at it. Again, I am my sister's keepers t-shirt um, are available. So, and on the back, um, it says uh, sister's keeper. Um, Miss Margaret got her shirt, so please make sure. Thank you, Margaret, for buying it. Yes, he will. So, I hope you guys have an amazing Friday. If you need me, no lie, send me a message right now. Before I pull out this parking lot, I'm going to respond to everybody that sends me a message. I will be late for my 9 to 5 because I'm living true to my calling. And if I was scared enough to hold that in and to say it to you guys and share it and, you know, risk looking crazy... Come on, you can share whatever it is you want to share with me. I promise it don't have to be an awkward conversation. I got you, boo. I am my sister's keeper. If you send me a message now, I will respond before I pull out this parking lot. All right, guys, I hope you have an amazing Friday. Please make sure you share the video. If your friends and family do not have Facebook, I do have a YouTube channel. You can binge watch all of the Fearless Morning Shows there. Simply type in Fearless Morning Show and it will come up. I hope you have an amazing day. And I will post the links. Um, blessful. Um, thank you for reminding me. I will post the links right now to the websites as well. You guys have an amazing Friday. Be peaceful. Peace, blessings, and abundance to you. It is yours to receive it. Make room 
to receive it. Take a negative out so that a positive can come in. Have a great day. I'll see you bright and early on Monday morning. Have a good one.